In 2012, the United Kingdom hosted one of the most successful Olympic Games of modern times. This success was in no small part due to the role BT played in safeguarding and securing the Games from attack by cyber terrorists and malicious hackers. We faced a number of new challenges. For the first time, the Games used a single, unified IP platform, presenting an irresistible opportunity for attack by those intent on ruining this global event. Monitoring 120 million network events a day for potential threats at its peak, BT fended off 11,000 malicious attacks a second. On top of that, we also detected and dealt with malicious website visits that rose from 2 million a day at the start of the Games to 9 million a day at their peak. The use of smartphones created a new set of risks, not least because of the thousands of journalists reporting on the Games using their own devices. Unbeknown to many, these devices potentially contained malware, but BT was able to discover and remove these malware threats for our visitors. This experience led to BT developing a new range of sophisticated tools and services. With 12 global security operation centers, including Asia-Pac, supported by 500 security consultants and a close working relationship with our law enforcement, we're pleased to be recognized as the leader in intrusion detection by current analysis. The connected cars, currently in development, have more sensors and intelligence than ever before, making them vulnerable to cyber attack. Increasingly, we want to take our devices into the car to deliver our music or other digital entertainment. But these devices, if compromised, pose a potential breach of the vehicle's security through the vulnerabilities of Bluetooth and other wireless connectivity. Even a CD played on the infotainment system can transfer malware into the heart of the vehicle's control applications, many of which are safety related. But providing online virus guards isn't a workable solution due to issues with connectivity in the car and relatively low processing power. The connected car, by its very nature, relies on various forms of wireless connectivity, such as Wi-Fi and 4G, providing yet another exploitable weak point. Furthermore, the push to make personal devices interact with all aspects of the driving experience across common platforms will only increase the risks still further. The following scenario examines how hackers could use the connected car to make a high-profile political point. A group of activists, called Zero Touch, plan to use a major sporting event to attack the vehicle sponsor supplying their latest car for athletes and dignitaries. Using their cyber powers, they want to highlight the loss of personal freedom caused by the introduction of cars connected to the internet that can track citizens' every move. Other cyber criminals have also spotted this as an opportunity to make a considerable sum holding the vehicle sponsor to ransom by accessing some of the safety features in the car through the infotainment system. The attack begins with a new phone app released for the games, containing embedded malware that in time will provide remote access to the hackers. Another point of attack is through a compromised employee who's willing and able to upload the ransomware in the car system's next software upgrade. Their combined impact will cause the athlete's car to break down or drive dangerously, resulting in them being removed from service. The consequences for the vehicle manufacturer's brand are immediate with a Twitter storm mocking the reliability of the car and news feeds featuring damaged vehicles, injured athletes and a disruption of events. But let's now look at how BT would have prevented this by monitoring the event in advance of any attempted attack. Using BT's Assure Analytics, we can listen in to the activists planning their attack on social media sites. Using this information, we tip off the vehicle manufacturer so they can tighten their internal security preventing the internal attack from their own staff. Our next move is to shore up the defences of the smartphones used by the drivers of the athletes' cars. Loading a firewall onto the smartphones separates the infotainment areas from the interface into the car's telematics. Then our latest mobile anti-malware is loaded to provide further protection. Finally, because we've loaded secure tools on the telematics servers, we can trigger an intervention to disable the virus loaded onto the system. Rolling this solution out through BT's global platform spells the end of this particular virus. With the threats detected and disabled, the sporting event is able to start on time and untroubled. Meanwhile, BT continues to support the vehicle manufacturer in the aftermath of this failed attempt to damage their brand 
and also provides assistance to the police in prosecuting the cyber conspirators. So the scenario ends with another successful games underway.